Okay. Hello there. Um, this is my first, uh, showcase of Kerbal Space Program. A, uh, game that I play quite a bit. Um, right now, I'm going to be starting a new career, which I'll call Career. That's not how you spell it. And I think... <laughs> sure, that works. And um, this is going to be a Kerbal Space Program career series. Well, I mean, not. It's, it's going to have a couple mods, including a couple to, you know, make their more launch sites. But you know, you have to buy them, so it's it's okay. And I will start playing the game. Anywho, I've played this game a lot before, so I guess I'll just briefly explain what I'm doing. I just went into the VAB, Vehicle Assembly Building, to create the uh, first rocket that I will have, because, um, well, that's all I can build it right now, this small little rocket. Um, these right here are uh, all the categories of parts. Uh, some of them are currently empty because I have not unlocked them in the tech tree. And uh, the ones that I have unlocked, um, I'm not going to name that, it's not important enough. The ones that I have unlocked, um, well, I have them. <laughs> but I don't have the entire thing. Um, Right here, this is staging. By the entire thing, by the way, I meant uh, the entire um, list of parts in that unlocked. Um, this is the staging. Each time you press the spacebar, it'll activate the next one. Um, this is the most basic uh, booster. This is the command pod where Jebediah Kerman, uh, who is my pilot, is currently sitting in. And, um, I can press M to go to the map, where I can fast forward until I get to the apoapsis, which is the highest point, if you didn't know, it is the highest point in my orbit. It's not exactly orbit, but launch. I just made a really weird noise, didn't I? Um, I don't think I've ever gotten this high before. Um... A first um, mission. I'm gonna turn those both off because I don't need them when I'm not thrusting. I mean, like, helpful for not going straight down into the ground. But fortunately, I have a parachute for that. If you're wondering why I'm not activating it, it's because I don't want this to take forever. Usually, you should activate the parachutes at roughly. Well, I would say now, except for. Well, that. Okay, so I made a mistake. Fortunately, I can press escape and uh, revert to launch. This will undo that whole flight and just take me back to launch. And then I have to do the staging again. I can do that from the VAB, but I don't really want to right now. Oh. Gonna try to get myself more over the ocean this time. Oh, yep, that's pretty much over the ocean. <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't mean to go that far. Please let me t- Arnky. Um, if you're wondering how I'm time warping, they are the two arrow keys next to the question mark. This time I have learned my lesson. Um, this thing right here, on the nav ball is retrograde, and, uh, well, it's, it's retrograde. It's, um, it's, uh, how do I explain it? Um, the way that you're not going, it's the opposite of where you're going. I'm gaining speed, that's not good. Um, okay, 
Okay, so if that if this thing right here becomes yellow, I'm gonna activate it. It might destroy it, but it might also save my Kerbal's life. Okay. Now I'm going to accidentally start going super duper fast. Okay, I'm gonna activate the parachute now. Please, 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 please. Okay, good, 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 good. Bad parachute, bad parachute, bad parachute. <gasps> Ooh! Hey, it worked. Um, if, if you're wondering, this is a dock. Oh, cargo ship. Never noticed that before. Those aren't ships that I can control. Those are just already there. Um, so are those, and those, and anything at these docks. Um, anywho, um, I just installed that mod, because, you know, sometimes you need... Did I seriously just destroy my wings? Sometimes you need a different place to, uh... Dang it. That's not what I meant. EVA? That's like... Yeah, he's gonna fall in the water. Okay, never mind. Um... What was I gonna say? Uh, sometimes you just, uh... Need to... There are missions? I'm explaining this very poorly. Um... Anywho, uh, I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing at the time. Okay, so right now, I've recovered the vessel, um, and I've gotten some science from it. I now have 15 science, because I started with some science, because that's how the game works. Um, I've also gotten some funds from the recover parts, the, uh, parts that, uh, I recovered. And... Jebediah Kerman, Kerman, not Kerman, has gained one experience. Not that much. And that has given me plus zero reputation, uh, which I can use at the administration building for these. Anywho, um, now I'm going into the tech tree. It's uh, not the biggest. I used to have a mod that would change the tech tree so that it was bigger. Um, not text tree, tech tree, but then it made the game pretty much imp impossible because you kind of need decouplers, and it wouldn't give you decouplers until that, until like here. But then you couldn't decouple, so you couldn't make huge rockets, so kind of didn't work so well. Anywho, so um, these require science. I'm researching them using science, and here are the next things that I can lock unlock. You have to follow the tech tree if you seen any tech tree in any game ever <laughs> that I know of. <laughs> um, these two, um, this one and this one, really pretty hard for me to do. It takes me forever to do them. Anywho, um, 45,000 to 500,000, I mean 50,000. Nope. Can't do that. Flight above curve. Nope. Focus stops gradual survey. I'll leave that to when I have planes. Focus stops gradual survey. Um. What is this? Ah, uh, maybe. Nah. Stack to coupler. That's too high. Oh, I can do this. This is at the launch site, so I can do this. Anywho, so now. I have unlocked more things, and I can do this. And... I can do it by tiers, too, but I don't really want to do that. I want to see, you know, what's in each thing. Anywho, um, I'm going to now edit this. So that, there's that on the bottom. Do I have any science? Mystery goo. I'll have two of those. And a thermometer. Nope, I do not want three. I just want the two. And then I'll have that. Then I'll put this here. If you're wondering, aren't I going to lose that? Well, I might. It depends on how long the flight takes. If you're wondering why I just did that, it'll, it'll be pretty explanatory in a minute. Um, you need a an attachment node to be able to attach these. Not these, and the and these have a node on either side. I use the 
modular recruiter segments <laughs> for that. Um, explaining a lot right now, not getting much done. Yep, this should activate then, and that's that. Okay. So these stages, um, it recognized what all the parts are and when they should be activated and what would make sense, and it has put them in the right order for me already, and I don't think it's important enough yet to actually make a name for it. So I'll just launch this. Once I get into liquid fuel, I probably will make a name. I only put three on. Well, that works. I'll just use that. <sighs> Unfortunate thing about this is that I'm going to have to release it when the parachutes can be deployed, but that might be too late. So it doesn't always work out. Um. Oh, there we go. Gotta deploy those. All right, that should have well, my apoapsis increase, not increase, uh, but decrease slower because I have less weight on me and yep, there it is. Yep. It's, it's falling down. Alright. Um this would be the time when I should have deserved the mystery goos. Um these I've had from the start. And crew report. Log temperature. See I'm getting lots of useful data here. I'm not even looking at them. I, I don't even care. Um, so eventually, um, I'm going to need uh, each shield on the bottom of this thing. Because, well, because of heat. And, uh, because of shields. And, uh, this, I'll just explain these while this rock is falling. Um, this is, um, to see your missions. Well, your um, completed missions. This is uh, for all your, you know, Kerbal's stats. Not Kerbal's, but your, you know, Kerbal Space Center's stats, which is it's basically like, like the Kerbal version of NASA. Kerbal Space uh, Center. This is your uh, KSpedia. You might not have been able to hear that, but I, you know, but I'm sure. I'm gonna deploy the parachute soon. Uh, so this is your current missions. These are your current, current missions, not this is your current missions. I'm gonna increase this because I think I'm going pretty fast. Okay, there we go. Um, this is my, this is, uh, below this bar are from the mods. This is my um, Kerbal Constructs. Um, which is what I use to get all, all of these nice things, and there's stuff over there on that island, and that thing, and oh, hey, somehow that thing is still alive. I'm slightly surprised. <laughs> this thing still exists! Uh, usually, um, usually these things will have despawned by now, but I guess I never got far enough from, oh, oh, oh. Okay, once you get low, um, you know, low enough to sea level, um, when you're landing in the sea anyway, you have to slow down, otherwise, um, it may crash, um, well, it may think it crashed, and, you know, well, then it'll be dead. Which is never good, and I have to wait to the, bleh, I have to wait for the, bleh. I have to wait for the debris to fall, um, because that'll despawn if I recover now, because it's currently flying. And now it'll splash down. Sometimes it'll despawn. I don't know when or why, but I'm going to recover this thing first, which should give me some funds. I'm not entirely sure. I think they just went up. Uh, 34.1 science, that's, that's a good mission. 
if you can get 34.1 signs in your second launch, that's that's pretty good. So I could unlock General Rock Tree for stability and survivability. I think I'm gonna go with this. And stability. Because then, uh, next time, I can get aviation. So I think I'm gonna do one more launch, and then end the video. So this one, I'm going to use all the interesting parts. Um, these are liquid fuel tanks, which you need for liquid fuel engines like this. Um, again, a decoupler, so that I can decouple uh, things. <laughs> Just want four. And then I can put this here. And these on here. Why would I want less powerful ones? Because then I can detach them uh, earlier than this thing. And uh, still have that. Um, I am going to put... Where is it? I'm not actually looking. I should be. Okay, um, found it. I'm gonna put a heat shield there. Then put in the, the decoupler. Um, so that I'll have a heat shield on that. And I don't think I need landing struts. I might use them later though. Um, nah. Those are useful, you know, later. Okay. <laughs> eh. Warranty vo void if exposed to air, which is the thing you're measuring. Apparently, you can't measure air pressure if there's air. That makes literally no sense to me. A science teacher would probably disagree. I guess there's probably some reason that I'm not seeing right now. Okay, so... Put radial parachutes because I have unlocked those now. I think I'll put three on this thing. And then, because this is literally the only thing that actually fits on this, um, put that there and then. <laughs> found lying by the side of the road. Uh, it's always funny when you see that. For the oh, dang it. And there's that. The part count. If this thing goes red, that means you can't launch. Um, these are all the constraints that I currently have. Parachute on engine stage. Wow, I didn't know. Engine jettisoned before use. Yep, I kind of have to fix that. Electric charge required, but not generated. No kidding, because I can't. Cannot transmit science. No kidding. Unused monopropellant resource. That actually is helpful. Okay, so now for the staging. These and this should activate first. Then, nope. Then, after... Where is that thing? Okay, so after this thing says bye-bye. Um, nope, not that thing. That thing. Okay, so after that thing says bye-bye. Um, then activate this. That should not activate. This should activate that. Okay. And... Final launch of this first episode. I may or may not make another one. Because this is really fun. I had a realization. This thing has no wings. Yep, that's not good. And it's gonna fall over any second. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. Reaction reel wheels on that thing, not reels. <laughs> Reaction reels. Uh, and that thing are surprisingly powerful. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, well, if it ever comes to this. 
since this engine can maneuver, it can help you. Or hurt you more. Depending on how well you are at rockets. I'm not the best at rockets, I'm better at planes. So, gonna wait. Actually, you know what, I'll just deploy that. Yeah, gonna lose a lot of funds for that. Um, okay, I'm gonna look at the map. Oops, oops, oops. Dang it, almost. Almost out of the atmosphere. So close. If I didn't mess up that last stage, it would have worked. Oh. And there we go. Alright. I'm going to observe the mystery goo. It, it's not giving me anything because it's not quite in orbit. I mean, it's giving me a little bit. Dang it. Pressure data? Ooh, that gives me a lot of signs. Wow. Log temperature. Nope. And I can't EVA. So. How much of this do I have left? I got lots. Alright. I'm trying to get to that. So. So how hot is it? Strangely hot. Strange. <laughs> oh no, that's Kelvin. Either that or Kerbal. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what the measurement in this game is. If it's Kelvin or Kerbal. Those are the only two ones that start with C. I mean, a K. Celsius starts with C. Wrong thing. Alright. So, once I realized that I didn't put drug chips on here. Okay, so this is a bad idea that I had. So, I didn't put drug chips on this thing, and this thing almost went into orbit. That's a really bad idea. A really, really bad idea. Because this thing should be going pretty fast soon. I'm surprised it hasn't burned up yet, honestly. What the heck? It didn't even burn up a little. Obviously, it seems to be getting colder. Very strange. Okay, can I? Oh, there we go. There's some signs. Sure. Okay, can I activate the parachute sooner? Because I'm going kind of fast. Okay. Oh. Should be. Oh! Oh, hey! The parachutes on that other thing actually did deploy! You have lived! I am very surprised that this thing has lived. Alright. Okay, that's going kind of fast. I'm not going to jettison that, because that might be the only thing keeping me alive right now. Because... This thing hits the water. That may be the only thing with a crash tolerance higher than 5 meters a second. So, yeah, hopefully that thing catches the fall and not literally anything else. I think actually this thing is 10 meters a second. Oh, good. I was wrong. Everything's survived. Now I'm just waiting until this thing falls all the way to the ground. It's gonna take a while. It's still going. Well, at least I know this thing will definitely survive. 
And give it a couple seconds. And there it is. Covering that. Not sure if I'm going to get any credit for that thing. But here's the thing. This thing. This thing has science. Not quite as much science as the previous thing, but dang it. I flew it instead of recovering it. Well, now I recovered it. But <laughs> okay. Only 22. Dang it. Well. Can't unlock anything here. So I guess I will start out the next video with uh, doing that. Anywho, this has been my first episode of Kerbal Space Program Career, and uh, I hope I make more episodes. And don't uh, forget about this series like I did literally every other series. Like, I literally forgot I even had a YouTube channel. I want to drive past there in the next episode. So I can unlock, you know. <laughs> Or is it? Yeah, this. That'll... I don't... I'm not sure if that'll happen, though. So, uh... Hopefully see you in the next episode. Bye. Uh...